Hi, I'm Colleen, and this is Visual Cooking, where I get a photo, and I guess what's in it, and um, I'm really good at it, so I'm probably going to make some good food, and this is going to be the best show you've ever done seen. Can you leave, actually? I'm making a show. I came up with it, I thought it, I planned it out, and it's mine, so. Oh, can we end this episode? No. Welcome. <laughs> Visual cooking, we get a photo and we have to guess what it is, guess the ingredients, and make it. Today we're doing a cook off. That's right, <laughs> cook off <laughs> part two. And today I have a very special guest, Colleen, Woo. also known as Laughing McGee. Sorry. It's a showdown of wits. Yeah. And yes. flavor. Yes. You're going down. I do not doubt this. <laughs> I was actually so, on Top Chef. That's true, I read that once. She can jump pretty high. <laughs> You're going to die. And then I'm gonna win. That's my strategy. I'm gonna start fast, I'm gonna go fast, and then I'm gonna end fast. Wah wah wah. Can you add in that noise? Ooh, what is it? Why oh, you always got big hard shit? What is this? Oh, oh, it looks like shredded chicken. And blue cheese. It looks like um some sort of sandwich item. Uh there's like some avocado. I literally don't even think this is an actual food item. Made this up. <laughs> this is a food because that's is that not carrot and a man. I thought that was bacon at first. Those red peppers. There's like diced vegetables on a sandwich. Like that who does that? <laughs> Chapata. Chapata. <laughs> Chapata. <laughs> Some like ranch, or maybe it's like a a tatsiki sauce. Well, I think I'm gonna go uh, to my roots here, and I'm thinking Pennsylvania duck. <laughs> so I I see some like carrot and celery. So I think I'm gonna make a um, chicken pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm gonna make a chicken pot pie sandwich. That's gonna taste disgusting. Okay? <laughs> Let's go to the store. We're back from the store. I went into my. Mind space, and I was like, How am I gonna make it? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up these sweet D onions and I'm gonna saute them in some olive oil, let them get nice and loosey goosey in the pan. I'm gonna cut up this here green pepper, and I'm gonna get some carrots, I'm gonna chop those up, some garlic, and some celery because I'm just gonna use everything that came in, might as well. The trick is to undercook the onions. My office fans are gonna. Uh, get that reference. I'm gonna throw in some spices, some tomato paste, a barbecue sauce, red wine vinegar. But I'm probably gonna cook the chicken in the oven low and slow because that's my technique. I'm gonna start fast, I'm gonna go fast, and then I'm gonna end first. And then throw it on a bun. Put up my celery, <laughs> carrots, pepper, saute it for a little bit, and put it on a bun. That's it? Okay. First things first, go wash my hands. I should do that too. I'm going to take some chicken. Four. I'm going to take four things of chicken. Why do you need such a big pot for that chicken? Can you let me make my chicken? First, I need to release the onions from their earthly bonds. Just one onion though. I'm gonna take off the skin like a Buffalo Bill. This knife is not cutting. Sabotage me with a dull <laughs> knife. <laughs> I'm adding salt. <laughs> it's gonna take me five years to peel and chop this onion because I have the world's dullest knife. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'm gonna cry because onions make me cry and I can feel it already. I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce in here. <sighs> so this one time. I watched this movie and I cried three times during it. What movie was it? Southpaw. Would recommend to a friend. It's really good. I'm gonna oh. add some mustard. Uh, one time I cried during a movie. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, now I'm going to take a handies and mix it all up. So now I'm gonna put the lid on this and we'll put it in the oven after I wash my hands. I'm still cutting some onions up. You should add in five years later. <laughs> All, all the onions are done being chopped. 
hands. I've already been preheating the oven at 400 degrees. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Chop some onions. <laughs> Why do we invite her on the show? Here's some floor onions. Okay, now I'm gonna take my pan. Throw my onions in there. In first grade, I was in this play. The only song that I remember from it is called Fruits and Vegetables, and it goes exactly like this. Fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables. I don't know the rest, but I just know the chorus. Now I'm chopping up my celery. I like to spend as much time as possible on cooking because it's the only time I find joy in life. All right, I'm gonna chop up this celery, bitch. <laughs> okay. Must be nice to have a knife that cuts. I'm just cutting up my pepper. Okay, gonna just cut up this red pepper. <clears throat> Threw everything into the pan. Everything? Everything into the pan. Like the chicken, and the onions, and the carrots, mm. and some spices, mm. barbecue sauce, and I let them all get to know each other. They uh, met some new people, mm. had a good time. And after 45 minutes, I pulled it out, and we're gonna shred the chicken and add more barbecue sauce and hot sauce, cause I love me some hot sauce. And then I'm gonna plate it by putting it on a bun. I'm gonna throw some of that Blue Ranch dressing on it. Uh, my chicken cooked at the beginning at 400 degrees, <laughs> cause I ain't got time to wait for chicken. Then I took it out and I put it on the stove, so it can caramelize. I sauteed the celery, red pepper, and carrots, and I'm gonna plate it now. I, I wanna be in like half the time. I wanna, na, 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 na. What up? I did this. I put the meat on the bun, I put my veggies on it, and just like a little squiggle. Blue cheese. And plating, I'm putting all my meat on there. My man meat, am I right? Uh, it's just a little soupier than I expected it to be, but that's okay. This looks so good. I really did it this time. So I'm adding more barbecue sauce because I can never have enough. And more hot sauce because why not? Let's get spicy. And I'm putting blue cheese on here. We're going to try our own sandwiches first to see how they taste. Then we're gonna taste each other's. Can we eat? Everyone say a prayer. <laughs> Let's bust by. Bless up. Mmm. Pretty good. I don't like that. I hate this bread. Thinking back, we should have uh, used a less bready bread. Left my vegetables kind of crunchy, which I'm glad I did. I'm not a big fan of the blue cheese on it. I probably would have made mine a little bit spicier. Mine tastes like a tastes like a barbecue sandwich, pretty much. Yeah, but it's good. I like it. It's spicy. I agree. This wasn't a very good bread. So much bread. And I don't know. I'm, I'm overall happy with what happened here today. Mm -mm. Ooh, I like that. Yours has a very different flavor. Mm-hmm. Very spicy. It's not that spicy. For my mild tongue, it's spicy. <laughs> spicy and vinegary. Mm-hmm. Very different textures. Yeah, I cook mine really low and slow. I like yours though. I think I like yours a lot. And neither of them are like any better. Like I feel like it's just a different flavor profile. Yeah. Hers is the spice that I needed, but I feel like mine was the texture that was needed. Yeah. If we combined it, it would make the perfect meal. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oops. A buffalo chicken sub. The ingredients are one tablespoon vegetable oil, boneless chicken, skinless chicken thighs, salt and ground black pepper, one tablespoon dark brown sugar, paprika. You know what's funny is I bought that actually. I didn't even use it. I used it. Cayenne. Didn't use it. I used it. One cup your favorite wing sauce, such as Frank's Red Hot. I used hot sauce. Two medium carrots. Two celery ribs. What's a rib? 
I don't know, honestly. Uh, Two tomatoes. Excuse me. One French loaf. It wasn't even chipotle. Blue cheese crumbles. Homemade ranch dressing. We were pretty off. We thought it was more of a barbecue thing. But now it makes sense with blue cheese yeah, and the ranch. Yeah, we're idiots. Who's Jeff? Oh, it's that fucking guy. I actually don't really like his recipes. Fuck Jeff. He has some like really weird stuff that he does. And we did make the ranch dressing because that. Who makes their own ranch dressing? Honestly, oh, the guy who made this recipe is an idiot. This has been Visual Cooking Showdown 2 featuring polling. <laughs> Catch you next time. Follow us on all the things in the description below. I'm also on a podcast called Midnight Masterminds where we talk about movies. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I had fun. I just came here for a good time and the good time was had. Yeah, I wish I had jalapenos. So over the top.